Okay friends, to get started on our blower motor resistor, let's go ahead and open up our glove box, squeeze in on the sides, that way there are these tabs release. Looking behind here, you're going to be able to see your blower motor resistor. You can either try to access this right through up here, or of course you can try to come underneath the dash, which is pretty easy as well. I'm just going to squeeze on the little tab. I'll draw this off of here, and now I'll show you what tab I'm talking about. Right here where my index finger is the tab. You squeeze that and pull it away and it releases. At this point we have a nice clear view of our resistor. You have a mounting bolt right here on the lower aspect of it closest to us and then on the upper aspect right over here farthest away. Remove both of those eight millimeter headed bolts. There we are. Grab that resistor. Take it right out of there. There it is friends. All right, friends, now it's going to be time to install our brand new blower motor resistor. Looking at the front, you can tell that there's an area that has a slash out of one of the corners. As we install this resistor, we want it to go in just like this, so the slash is on the top, facing towards us. I'm just going to carefully slide this right in. It should want to line up with the pitons that are there. We'll start in both of the bolts, and then we'll snug them up. Okay, that's bottomed out. You don't want to go too much further than when it's bottomed out, only because the screw is actually going directly into plastic. If you go too tight, you could strip it. Bottomed out, teeny bit more. Now let's go ahead and connect this in. There we are. At this point, go ahead and close this up by squeezing the two pieces together. All right, now all you have to do is test your blower motor on all speeds.